Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about counter reset instruction. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. So in our previous sessions, we have seen about counters and the types. Now we have one more instruction in the counter, which is used to reset the counter instruction that we have used in the program. So this instruction is not only to reset the counter, but also a timer. So let's see how to use this. Go to details, find instruction and here you can see timer bar counter and this is the counter reset instruction, reset timer or counter. So I'll take this instruction and it's asking for the range from where to where you want to reset. That is the requirement for this counter. So what you can do, you can add some counters in your project. Okay, for example, I'll just add some counter in our project. Because without using the counter, what is the purpose of resetting it? So I'm using CNT and I'm giving the name as C0. And uh, this is the reset value, I mean uh, the preset value. So I'm giving some two. Click OK. So one counter is added. I'm just giving input to that. It will be switch one. And uh, let's add one more input for the second counter. So for, uh, for example, I'm adding two counters. Alright, so take one more counter here and name that as C1 and uh, I'm giving the range of some 3 or 4, okay, let it be. We have to type C and T, I have missed out to type the instruction in the previous block. Now I'm giving the counter name as C1 and I'm giving the preset value as 3. All right, done. Connect now. So now we'll add one reset input to this. And connect to the reset input. So we cannot give this as a blank input. So it should be the reset. I mean, we have to connect some contact to this. And I'm using the same input for reset to the second counter also. So now connect. So now let's compile it. I'll just show you first. Now I'm using two counters in the program, right? So I'll be incrementing the first counter and I will be incrementing the second counter. And what I have to do? I have to use uh, this button to reset this counter and this counter. Suppose instead of this input, I'm if I'm using some other input for this, let's take uh, instead of this, I'm using one more input, which is reset two. Okay. So in this case, what will happen? I need to reset the counter uh, uh, zero with this uh, first reset. And counter 2 with, I mean counter 1 with the second reset, right? For example, I will turn on. So, if I want to reset, I have to turn on this. So, the counter got reset, okay? The same thing for this also. I have to use separate reset input for all counters. So, each counter is having different, different reset bit, right? So previously I have added the same bit, but we cannot assure that it always we can use the same reset bit. There may be some conditions. Okay. But if you are using the, you know, reset instruction of counter, that is like a one general reset. What an all range you are giving in the, you know, reset counter block, it will reset all the counters. So let's see how to do that. So you can get the reset counter block here. So let's go for the find instruction, go for the timer bar counter and this is CNR which is reset timer bar 
counter so take that just give the range okay so what is this range means so you have to give the timer or counter address so from where to where you want to reset so in our project i have used only two counters so what i'm going to do means i'm just giving c0 and up to and up to c1 suppose if you are using 50 counters in your project means in which range you want to reset for example 10 to 20 you want to make it as a reset means you can use that range so uh, for example only i am taking this only two counters so i'm just going for okay right and for this i have i supposed to have one input which is a condition to reset so i'm giving this as a master reset master so this is a master reset all right so give and connect to the block so once you are connected it's ready to use all right so just go for uh, compile and we don't have any errors so just go online so this is like a master reset of what and all range you have given in the reset counter block so let's just increase this counter value just increase the second counter value also. So, I am not going to use the respective reset bit. Alright. So, I am going to use one master uh, reset bit. So, let's do one thing. Let's turn on the counter. It's reached the, you know, set limit. So, it has reached and it has not reached. So, let it increase one more. Okay. All right this is okay this is also reached so now without using this reset and reset to i'm going to reset these two counters using this instruction so this is the master reset so if you turn on both the counters will get reset okay so this is how it will be working so this is the master reset instruction of counter so this is like in some emergency cases or you want to reset all the counters you have used in the program obviously we will be following some sequence right c0 will be at the first counter like that you you are you should follow some sequence so in which sequence you want to reset means you can give the range here so that it will reset the counter all right so just use this and uh, you can take some example and you can practice this instruction I hope you have understood this concept. I'll meet you in the next session. Before that, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.